step. Your instruction. Professor? Everything went pretty well today. Thanks for Your guidance was greatly useful. I work to grow. You have my thanks for your support. I have a question. By any chance, are you just giving me a random answer? Professor! You didn't invite me here for a duel? Thanks. Can I get a refill? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Thanks for the tea. Invite me again when you like. Bye. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? Is it that obvious? I despise being cooped up when sleep evades me. I just have to get some fresh air. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay up so late. I should get some sleep too, but have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun, 
for a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the Crest of Saros, inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline. But it was only a minor crest, and most of my siblings bore no crest at all. In order to create a peerless emperor to rule Fodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh. Now here I stand, the fruit of that endeavor. Edelgard von Hressfeld. But that came at too high a price. The others were sacrificed. Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it. The truth of the Hressfeld's empire. The Prime Minister and his gaggle of nobles. They had the empire under their thumbs. My father, the Emperor, tried to stop him, but it was futile. My father was nothing but a puppet on the string by then. He was powerless to save us. My father was nothing but a puppet. I know how it all sounds, but when you see my true strength, you will know I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours, the Crest of Flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifice is never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. With you, we will have no troubles. No problem. We've finished without issue. new it is suiting it it suits you oh um uh, right thanks you get more strength each day i do not want to be falling behind i'm impressed with how much stronger you've gotten too more than i have no caspar you are impressing to me i want to be training with you just hold on petra what is wrong it's your attitude. How can you act so casual around me? My father killed your father. You shouldn't be able to stand the sight of me. You actually hate me, right? That's fine. I can take it. I completely understand. Just be honest. Give it to me straight. <sighs> if our roles were reversed, I don't think I'd be able to forgive you. I don't understand how you could You are not the one who did the killing, Kaspar. Our parents had conflict, but we are not them. I have no worry about it. You should not either. I don't need to worry? Impossible. I don't think I'll ever be... You must. If not, the conflict will keep carrying on. If children cannot forgive, it will not ever have an ending. Is that what you are wanting? Well, of course not. I... Please, give it some thinking. I will be leaving now. Hunting? Really? 
There's no way I can do this. Bernadetta, is this a trouble? I heard that the duty... The duties all got assigned while I was... Do not be worrying. Oh. When you see a beast, you are thinking of it as an enemy. That is how Prey thinks. You must think of the beasts as food. So it... But, um, how is it food? You pick the vegetables from the field. Those have life too. It is the same. You take a blade in your hand and take the lives of the vegetables. You cut their stalks and harvest without mercy. They do not scream. But you are still their killer. Killer? Fruit ripens and falls to the ground. The seeds sprout and a new life is born. That is life's cycle. Maybe, but I don't know if I want to be some... some kind of vegetable murderer. It is the same for rabbits, deer, pheasants. The only difference being that they cannot cry out. You must do what you must do to be living in this world. It is your task. A task? Yes, just a task. A completely mindless task. Feel it. There, in the grass. Prey is moving. Just like a vegetable in the wind. Give it an arrow, just like you would give a vegetable a blade. It is just your task. Uh, right. You are now a hunter. I am? You have understanding now. I can tell. Great! Leave it to me! I have belief in you. Aw, thanks, Petra. I can do this! Make way for Huntmaster Bernie! Have luck, Bernie. Hello, Burn. Oh no, did I fa- No, not- If you promise not to resort- Burn, I've just been- When I said I was your friend, you ran away. Um, I know you've lived through some bad time. Oh, please. Your father's- <sighs> My parents told me never to befriend a commoner. They said commoners are scum, and that they'd crush any that tried to come near me. Hang on, scum? They called me- I mean- Commoners, they called us scum? Yeah, but once, a long time ago, I did secretly make friends with one, a boy. When my father found out about him, he disappeared the very next day. I heard he was found beaten half to death. Since then, I've been- I- I never- I'm proud to be your commoner friend. <laughs> Hey now, relax. If your dad tried to beat me up, <sighs> when I was in the opera, you better believe I had run-ins with the most wicked, terrible men. I survived kidnappings, attempted murders, all kinds of stuff. But you know what? I broke those guys' arms. Snap! <laughs> it was a thank you for all the trouble they went through trying to hurt me. You're incredible, Dorothea. So, now that you know I can defend myself, can we be friends, Burn? All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're in high spirits today, Dorothea. Yes. I have met someone quite charming recently. I'm hoping we can spend more time together soon. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I wish I had some advice to offer. Alas, I do not. Eh, don't worry too much about it, Aidy. I guess romance isn't really something you're interested in anyway. I'm not completely disinterested. Oh, yeah? Is there someone you have your eye on? Hmm. To be honest, there's nothing resembling romance in my life at present. It's not that I'm disinterested. I'm simply too busy with other endeavors. I have no time to spare for such things. That's not surprising. You're not just any old noble after all. Anyone who has feelings for you... Well, they're in for a pretty complicated life. True. And I can't ignore the possibility that I may have to marry for political purposes. 
I doubt I'll ever have the opportunity for a passionate romance as long as I live. That's no way to talk. You meet the right person and boom, you have passion to spare. Could be someone you've just met or someone you've known your whole life. There's no telling how life will go. Something could even spark between the two of us. You and I? Now that is an entertaining thought. If such an exciting future is in store, I look forward to it. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's awfully sweet of you, Adie.
My will prevails. Stay focused. I will get the victory. Oh no. standard. As expected. Should I have held back? Such power dwells within.
not an option. I won't forget all I've learned. have thorns just like that how humiliating Well done. If only my research had such results. Hardly worth my time. This strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. Step before the next step. I won't go down so easily. Roses have thorns. Not quite what I was after.
Sweet of you. Go down so easily. 